Good morning and uh, welcome to Istanbul and Göztepe Medical Park. Uh, I'm uh, Professor Nazir Afsar and I'm treating mostly neurology patients, adult neurology patients. Uh, and one of my main topics of concern is headache. Headache is a very important issue as well as in Turkey and in, in all the countries. Uh, we have at least 10% of the population who are affected, mostly women, at least uh, one in five women have headache and one in 10 men have headache. So it's a huge uh, issue. Um, most of the patients will not perhaps come to the doctors because they will have once a, a headache once in a while, but some of them, like 5%, will have chronic headache. Most of these, uh, of, of these headaches are migraine. Um, how do we know it's migraine? We just ask the patient if they have uh, something else beside headaches, where if the pain is one-sided, um, if they have nausea and vomiting during headaches, if they have um, problems with light or uh, loud sounds um, and that kind of associated stuff and we do de decide if they have migraine first by taking history and then we need to, do, need to do some investigations, of course, brain MRI and blood testing, and every, everything's normal. We will have to decide what to do with their headache. Some of the patients will have, you know, 15 days, 20 days a week, uh, uh, a month. So it's very, very hard for them. They have problems with their work. So we do need to give them either medications or we have a kind of prophylaxis, which is Botox with botulinum toxin that will be applied uh, at, uh, in the head uh, at 31 points, you know, just the temples, uh, the, the front and the back of the head and uh, over the, the shoulders. So that we, we do apply this every three months. And we know that uh, the frequency of the headache will decrease, the, pa the patient will be much relieved by that. And we do repeat this for one or two years. So every three months, for one or two years, uh, it's a good treatment for chronic uh, migraine. Um, not adults only, not only adults do have uh, headaches, adolescents also may have them, especially when they start to grow after 14 or uh, for 14 years, when they start to have uh, uh, hormonal changes, especially girls, and when they start to have problems at school or you know, examinations and, uh, and all that kind of problem, they do have headache. And sometimes they, they are not recognized for migraine because it's the, the, the pain may not be as well defined as in the adults. It may just be a few hours only, only at school. Uh, there may not be nausea, vomiting or other associated symptoms, but they will have uh, to be dis diagnosed for migraine and they, we may treat them. But of course, the medications are different for them. We have less um, um, less potent drugs, mostly allergy drugs, but we can also treat them. We have to give them medication so that they don't have problems at school uh, when they're uh, during their daily practices. For the children or for the adolescents, we do use medical methods alone, and generally we just give them medication during their school uh, period. Uh, during the summer, they won't have any problems. We also advise them to do lots of sports, but for adults. We do, uh, the treatment will consist of botulinum toxin in one part and medical medications uh, on the other part. The medications we use will be epilepsy medications or um, depression medications or hypertensive medications. We do use them, uh, we use their uh, good side effect in one, uh, in one way. Uh, we, do, we will have to give at least six months or a year of medical treatment so that the headache uh, frequency will decrease and, and then we will be able to, to cut off the treatment. Well, headache is very uh, prominent. Uh, if, we like, if we want to know about a whole country, it's uh, around uh, 15 or 16 percent of the whole population, especially women. But, you know, uh, it's a general belief that migraine is a disease for women, but it's not only for women. Men also can have migraine, and one in ten men will have migraine, so it's, uh, it's also a good number. <laughs>